This is the kind of thing that I'm dealing with today. What is this? What is this? I don't understand. Welcome, boys. This is me, Octavian, from Infimo Games. And welcome to another Death Diary. Of the, well, presumably working realistic assault rifle template. Which, uh, you know, over the past few weeks has not been working if you've been following the Death Diary. But today it was supposed to be working, is what I thought before I started filming the video. And then I started filming the video, and I realized that every time you reload, this sort of black hole magic happens. And that confused me a lot. Now, we're gonna just kind of ignore the black hole magic. Just, you know, no black holes in the realistic assault rifle template. Nope, just ignore it for now, you know, none of that. I'm going to talk about the beautiful stuff that happened today. Be only beautiful things today. Beautiful things. Colorful. Okay, so. The lower body is back. Fix that. That's pretty good. Aiming is back. Sort of. Uh, the lag is somewhat broken. Not the look one. The movement one. It looks off. Kind of. Now... Other than that, I think I fixed the tactical sprinting, so that was pretty nice. Ignore the double mag, that's a different issue. But at the very least, the animation blueprint is mostly working now. So those have kind of been the, the main sort of big fixes of the day. It doesn't seem like too many big fixes, but those took quite a while. And, um, ooh, why does that happen? I don't understand it. In any case, those have been the, the big fixes. Other than that, I practically renamed every single freaking cached pose. So these things, every single one of these, I renamed it to follow some naming conventions. So they all have underscore cached now in the animation blueprint, which is going to be the naming convention that we're going to follow. If you have a better naming convention, I'm open to listening to it but for now at the very least if i search for them here they don't show up but if i search for them here okay they do show up so it's okay i almost got bedazzled but it's okay in any case and then i also made sure that all the state machines had a different convention but at the very least all of them are named now then i reorganized a little bit the animation blueprint i made sure that every single freaking function for the most part the ones that it had the lag and all that went into their right kind of category i still have quite a few to go so it's not actually every single one i mean gosh darn it but um we still have quite a few unfortunately oh yeah but most of these are just going to go into either some sort of uh, data getter or a uh, a animation thing so you know a lot easier but the variables, you know, those did go into nice categories. So at least we're a lot closer now to being done with the animation blueprint cleanup. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some more interesting stuff pretty soon. Well, you know, I hope that some of you are finding this interesting. I'm certainly finding it interesting to do. So I think that's kind of the, the, the main thing that I did here too. Another thing that I really want to work on is regarding the cleaning of the animation layers. I think the animation interface needs a little bit of cleanup, especially this one right here. Not that one, but you know, uh, this one actually very good moment to just, uh, just rename that, you know, real quick. Cause that's how the name should be. Yep. This is the one I meant here. So the character layer interface that I have. Now, this one is all over the place in terms of naming. Not the underscore layer, I just mean the first part of the name. Also need to set things up in categories. So those two things, pretty soon I'm going to do that. Also need to do cool tips, you know, there's a lot of things. But for the most part, that's all I did today. You know, a lot of things are going to happen pretty soon, so I will probably see you really soon again. As always, quick reminder, if you want a free template, you know, not as beautiful as this one, but it is a start. And also there's a free course 
in our YouTube channel. But even if you do want a free template, it is in the description. Go check it out. It's free and it's beautiful. And it has really cool animations, which you probably won't find in any free template ever. So go check it out. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. <laughs> have a great day, people. I'll see you. Have a good day.